as much as I enjoy exploring new destinations. But when I'm in the Bay Area, I like to dig deep into the local cuisines. Some of them become my favorite go-to places. Come join me as I uncover great food finds in Castro Valley, California. Now, I have not been to this place for over a year. So I'm wondering how it is holding up during the pandemic. Hidden inside the valley but yet close to downtown. It feels like a world away at this picturesque golf course and restaurant. The golf business is doing quite well it seems. You can play around golf or practice over the golf range. Overlooking the lake, they used to have a full service restaurant here. But that is closed now during the pandemic. The kitchen only sells hot dogs and sandwiches now. But I feel like supporting them anyways. And it's a nice day out. I can sit outside and enjoy their spacious outside patio area. So a Polish hot dog is what I had, and it was good. I think most people like myself come here to take in the incredible scenery. On BC Castro Valley Boulevard is this very popular Korean fried chicken shop. All decorated for Christmas, and they have a dessert freezer with ice cream macarons as well. But this is what they're famous for, crispy Korean fried chicken. Very crispy skin with sweet spicy sauce, chicken is tender and moist inside. And comes salad and rice, $11 is a great value. A 7 year old customer gave the owner this creation because he loves the chicken here. Yu Cha, a relatively newcomer in downtown Castorelli, and they're very popular. They have many good choices of unique meals and snacks. Asian fusion meals and snacks and drinks, but there's one thing I must try from here. Japanese sandos. And they have a few different varieties too. Plus, they also have wings and popcorn chicken. All the flavors are kind of tempting. Wings and fries are good, kind of like popcorn chicken on the outside but on wings. Chicken is well seasoned but not too salty. But this is the main reason why I'm here today. Everything is freshly made as you order. They make for a great option for a quick lunch on the go. With so many new places to choose from in Castle Valley, it will take me at least a year to try out all the different dishes on rotation. Next, I want to show you this modern Vietnamese spot. Its clean lines and warm industrial decor feels refreshing. When indoor dining opens up again, I'll definitely come back then. At $8, it is a bit pricier than others, but this is at least a foot long sandwich. And they are very generous with the meat portions, lemongrass marinated beef. This comes with a house-made vinaigrette sauce. Drenched portion of lemongrass beef and veggies and fried egg over vermicelli. The ingredients might not be as authentic as some traditional places, but overall taste is good. Let me show you this local gem for European groceries and deli. Once I'm in, I'm a little kid in a candy store. Look at the tea, spices, sauces, and pickles from Europe. 
The store specializes in Polish and Russian foods. Everything is so tempting. A great selection of chocolates and biscuits. These in-house made cakes and desserts look really yummy. When you see a place like this has a back fridge, you always gotta check it out. All kinds of cheeses and caviar as well, you can really do some damage here. Great selection of beers and spirits as well. This is a mini cheesecake rich in flavor and covered in chocolate. The iconic Bosch soup made with red beets, cabbage, onions and potatoes. Really good. This is a very popular place for southern foods in Castro Valley. Take out only at this time but they have a following that loves southern foods. And you can see why, fresh quality ingredients prepared with care. Results are mouth-watering dishes that have customers coming back for more. All dishes were classic and very yummy but there's one thing that customers seem to be raving about. The fresh crab meat over perfectly seasoned fries is a creative and delicious combination. I love hand pool noodles and this is a great spot for them in Castro Valley. The thing to order are noodles of course, but their mala spicy side dishes are also excellent. Chewy texture on the noodles, they have this flat type or round type of noodles. Nothing like a hot bowl of hand pool noodles on a cold winter night. Broth is thick and tasty with no MSG. The pork ribs are pretty filling too. I head back downtown to this iconic favorite. It is all decorated for the holidays. They're very quiet for the holiday season. Of course, mostly due to COVID. But I think they also face new competitions from next door, the Castro Valley Marketplace. Many chocolate themed holiday gifts and treats on display. They have ice cream, sundaes, and milkshakes. As well as a limited menu of to go lunch items. So I ordered my chili dog lunch and ate outside on the new patio next to the marketplace. On a quiet afternoon, it is quite blissful to have lunch here. Are you guys ready for holidays? It is here before we know it. Thanks for watching.